Hi, this is David Doss for Motu. Here's 10 power user tips for editing in the sequence editor. First tip, here's how to fix a note that's slightly out of time. My drummer here made a little mistake. Have a listen. First, what I need to do is switch my grid off. By default, the grid is on the quarter notes. Then, I'll come back to the offending note, hold down the C key to temporarily get the scissors tool, make a snip immediately before and after the note, then release the C key. Click on my new separated sound bite and use the arrow keys to nudge it onto the grid. Once I have it in place, I want to make sure it's seamless, so I'll drag the sound bite edge over, put the seam where I want it to be, then select the seam and put a crossfade over it. I like equal power fades, and I usually do about 10 milliseconds to make it imperceptible. Have a listen. You can do the same thing across multiple mics, for example, a multi mic drum kit. Here's such a kit, and let's say, just as an extreme example, we'd actually like to move this snare drum hit later by a full eighth note. Have a listen to this pattern, and I'll show you how to do it. First, I'll roughly select the entire area of beat 4, making sure to get as close as possible to that snare hit without touching its attack. I drag a box around that, and then I hit Command Y, which is the split command. It makes a new separate region out of my selection. Then let's go to the ruler and switch it to the 8th note. Now if I hit the right arrow key, whatever is selected is going to move to the right by an 8th note. Now all I have to do is drag the edge back. It's a little tricky because continuity is so important with an acoustic instrument like drums. I'll use Ctrl F to crossfade over the seams, and let's take a listen to the result. Here's how to fix a note that's out of pitch. Here's a phrase from a lead vocal. Have a listen to it all naturel first. I'll take what I've got and move on. Astute ears will hear that the word I've is a little bit sharp. It's really easy to fix this in DP. First, let's use some horizontal zoom to focus in closer. I'm tapping the command right arrow to increase horizontal zoom. Next, go to the layers menu, the one that shows sound bites by default, and switch into the pitch layer. These bars and lines are the pitch analysis that DP does by default. If you'd like it to be bigger, grab the magnifying glass and drag right. Now, take one more listen and we'll find the offending note. I'll take what I've got and move on. Right there. Now all you have to do is grab it and drag it to where you want it to be. DP will automatically snap it to the nearest half step. If you prefer to fine tune it, hold down the command key as you drag. Now have a listen to the newly tuned version. I'll take what I've got and move on. 